This sucks. Holy shit, I'm gonna die. What's up and welcome to Ingenuity and this week we're going to be working on building the mounting plate for the pedal box setup and what is quite possibly the prettiest part for this car that I've gotten so far, the Chase Bay's Master Cylinder Kit. Let me show you what we got. So for those of you that don't know, Chase Bay's makes a um, basically a booster delete kit in the form of a master cylinder. Look at this unit. So yes, it is a single master cylinder setup like you have from the factory. And yes, I am going to be running a factory pedal box setup out of an STI, including the electronic throttle body and pedal, as well as got a, uh, a new clutch master while I was at it. There's also a uh, proportioning valve that's gonna come with this, as well as I got a bunch of the fittings and stuff so we can actually run um, some AN hard lines. Um, which which will it just looks pretty so that's the plan of attack and yes the reason why I did go this way was for cost effectiveness it was just a far less money than going with a Tilton Willwood OBP you know whatever your brand of choice is for pedal box setups this was a lot less plus we don't have a lot of real estate to work with shocker I know both in terms of putting a vacuum booster in the engine bay and as far as the floor goes we don't have a lot of room to work with in terms of mounting a you know, pedal box to the floor so we'd have to go overhung anyway and at that point you might as well just go with this setup it's just it's just way less so anyway that's what we're doing for now we might change it up in the future who knows but at least for now this is what we're going to be running so yeah that's a <laughs> that's enough of me yapping let's get to work Brake pedal, clutch pedal right now are, are actually even with each other. They're just kind of hanging. Uh, but the clutch pedal has a, has a spring on it. So that's in the bottom most position. That's as far back as it'll go. So as you can see, we got plenty of room. The thing that was tripping me up is I kept expecting the brake pedal to go back further. And in fact, it doesn't. I actually went out and drove my car and paid a lot of attention to how the pedals interact with each other. And the brake pedal, even when I am hammering hard on the brakes, don't go anywhere near the floor, which technically the floor, since this is a 2004 STI pedal assembly the floor technically is where the the clutch pedal is so and the brakes never it's usually like I mean I don't know I wasn't staring at them but if I had to guess maybe an inch higher than that so this is kind of one of those problems I think where you just get into a rhythm of <sighs> kind of like what I said in the last video that hurry up offense mentality that just okay go 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 um, sometimes you got to slow down um, Take a, you know, take a breather, take a walk, take a drive. <laughs> um, and, uh, you know, kind of reset a little bit, you know, and then go back at it again. And then just like I did, you come back and you're like, oh, wait a minute, it's fine. I got, I, I can stop messing with this now. So now, now that we know that we're good, um, I actually have some magnets in place, um, mark, kind of marking where everything is since I can't get to it from the front or the back right now. It's, it's just, it's too tight in there. So, uh, Got some magnets on there, so I'll pull everything back out. The magnets will stay behind. Now I know where to mark everything, and uh, I'm just gonna tack it in, bolt it in. And I mean, we're gonna have to run bracing, obviously, but <laughs> for the most part, you know, the mounting plate will be done. So, yeah, let's uh, let's go do that. Guys, man, I mean, 
This sucks. <laughs> like, how do you? Oh man. Lesson learned: build all the tubes and just set the body on. <laughs> Don't do this. So now that we got those to it, now we can work on the noise pedal. And this one should be a lot easier because it's meant to be bolted flat to the firewall like this. And then it just swings down. It's a very it's a simple thing. We don't have to worry about the arc or anything like that. So it should just be a matter of putting this on a plate. <coughs> Holy shit, I'm dying. Um, so this one should be... <laughs> So this one should be a lot easier. It should be just a matter of putting this thing, mounting it to a plate, and then just setting the height of it, and then, yeah, making, like, supports so it doesn't move when you, when you press it, so. Yes, we're doing that. Okay, so just got it quick clamped in place, and it's actually pretty close. In between here and here, is a, there's a good amount of braking that you do in this range, at which, at which point you can roll over and just blow up the throttle. It's damn near at the end of its throw, and it's making contact. So we gotta, so we're gonna clearance the top a little bit, and we are going to notch for the uh, column, and then uh, yeah, we'll try again. Okay, and there we go. I had to pull the uh, the braking clutch pedals out um, to actually pull this off, but there you go. There's the bracing. Um, Right here, added the bracing in here, bracing over there. Um, pedal works great now, we got plenty of height. Everything's notched as it should be. It looks like I need to clearance a little bit, like right there, but. All right, so just a matter of bolting the, uh, the brake and clutch pedal back in, and then the pedals are done. Just gotta finish welded. Nothing exciting there, but what is exciting is next up, we're gonna be doing more aero, because let's face it, I mean, the wing wasn't enough. We need more, <laughs> we need lots more. So, we're gonna be working on that next. Make sure to tune in next time. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that thumbs up if you like this video, but above all else, remember, on projects like this thing, sometimes you just need a little ingenuity. I will see you next time.